So you guys want to know how to get to these places? In this video, I'll show you. We're going to begin by the side of the Pine Hood Hotel. This is one of the easier jumps to be able to do. I don't believe you need any sort of requirement for strength. As long as you jump right, you should be able to make it. The next spot we can have a look at we call Manchester for obvious reasons. This is located to the left of Lexus on the way to the Concordia apartment block, basically right next to the car extract. Now, although this may seem like a bit of an easy jump, uh, there's a bit of a trick to it, right? So I'll show you. If you hop on this box, then you hop on the roof and you simply try and jump forward, it's not gonna work. Uh, they have placed an invisible wall there, so basically prevents you from being able to get inside there but there is a bit of a trick and I'll, and I'll explain now as I go around and do it so essentially just go back do the same thing hop on the truck hop on these boxes this box to the roof of the truck and then from the corner to the corner of that building right there and then what you want to ensure is once you've jumped you do a boost jump and you do not stop to sprint now I am I am here on a stim do want to be clear so i don't know exactly what the least amount of your strength needs to be to be able to do this jump but i popped the stim gave me plus 20 endurance and plus 20 strength and it was pretty easy i would imagine you could probably do this with maybe 10 strength or probably even less just one thing to keep in mind bhg obviously don't intend for you to be inside here so a lot of this area you can't actually move around in you are basically stuck in the small little corner at the front but you still got plenty of place to hide so it's fine Okay, so to be completely transparent here with you guys, I'm not going to lie to you, this jump as a solo is really damn hard. Um, I tried with like all amounts of strength, um, from like low to high, and it's basically, for me at least, it was impossible for me to get this jump done with anything less than the 50 strength. Um, currently, the way I'm doing it now is I've popped Obdolbus 2, plus I've popped SJ1, so my cap is now at the max, which is capped at the level 60. Um, I was able to do it quite easily with that, although it did take me a while of doing it before, so I did have a bit of practice. So if this is a jump you guys want to do like often enough, make sure you do go and practice. Now if you're someone that saw that and was like, how the hell am I supposed to go and do that jump? There is a second way for people that are not too good at all the movements and so on, but it does require you having a teammate. Now I'm not going to include that in this video, as this is basically just everything as a solo. There'll be a second video showing more spots, the ones, a few that were leaked in the beginning. So if this is a video you guys enjoyed and you guys want to see some more spots like this and how to do them with a teammate so they're a bit easier, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and the second video will be out soon. Peace.